All right, guys. A much prettier day today. I'm at Talega Golf Club down here in San Clemente. That's where I was last video also. And I'm going to reveal the putter that I just got. You guys probably saw it coming. Um, originally, I had the Queen Bee. And I loved it. It's beautiful. Had it for three years now. Like I said in the last video, I'm keeping it forever, but there's been this, <clears throat> this bandwagon of 2024, and it's this company that's taking over, and you probably already know what I'm about to bring out. And I've joined the bandwagon. I have got the new Lab DF3. And it is amazing. So I'm gonna run through the specs. I'll probably put a picture up on the video right now of the specs that I got. I custom ordered this about six weeks ago. And you guys already know what color I went with. I mean, I couldn't, on watching my last video, I talked about browns and tans and coppers a gazillion times. Just look at how beautiful that is. Cappuccino color. And it is just, I'll do some close-ups, but I went with the upgraded Acra shaft, graphite white. Since white is non-traditional, that's why I did it. And my alignment mark, I'll show you guys, I'll put a video over. I went with the, MM was the tool or the the acronym on Labs website. And I also got the Press 3 XL grip. So it's three degrees, kind of weird looking, but it's three degrees tilted forward, which is what I do naturally with my other clubs. I've never really done it with my putter. And I do like a reverse grip when I putt. That's what I've done for the last probably seven years so that's what's comfortable 38 inches and we're here at Talega to no wait for some trucks to pass I'm here to reveal this thing roll some putts talk about you know how it feels how it's working but yeah I actually had the chance to use this in so I had never practiced with it. I had a hospital tournament I was invited to on Monday. And so that was the first time I broke this thing out and used it. And my confidence in hitting my line is unreal. It takes missing my line out of the equation. Now it's just a matter of, you know, like my distance control with my putting. And if I am reading the greens correctly, because I now don't miss my line. I was making putts on Monday that were just, you know, I shouldn't, I'm not used to making. Let's, let's just say that. So here it is, the DF3, Cappuccino, MM, absolutely beautiful. And let's go roll some putts with it and make sure that Queen Bee doesn't get too jealous back here because this could be one of my buddies says to keep these two away from each other. It could be some beef. One could get mad at the other. One could cause some drama.
All right, guys, I'm just trying to get good angles here where you can see the putter up close. Hopefully hear it pretty well. I still haven't got a mic yet, but hopefully you guys can hear what this thing sounds like. It's, it's pretty clicky. I actually really like it, especially with the uh, graphite shaft. It gives me really good response, actually. One added feature to this thing is kind of hard to film, but that is also the perfect size to pick up a ball. And I'm obviously using, using my other hand to uh, film this, but it fits a ball in there. So if anyone's generous enough to say, oh, hey, that's good, womp, and you're out. All right, guys, thank you for watching. By the way, this is actually where I got married. Talega Golf Club had a little reception right out here and in that room. Anyway, thank you for watching. Just wanted to do a quick upload and try and be consistent on the lab putter that I got. I'm excited. I'm actually playing here tomorrow. And I don't know, maybe I'll do like a break 40 or something, but appreciate you guys watching. Quick little upload on the Lab DF3 putter. I've joined the bandwagon, don't regret it. And let's see if I can go low tomorrow.